we're looking at here is something that we call schedules of reinforcement. And the idea is, is that reinforcement can be scheduled at a particular rate. In other words, a rule of how frequently a behavior will be reinforced, if it's reinforced at all. Uh, and this also includes things like how many times do you have to do the behavior? Um, how long do you need to wait to do the behavior again to get a reinforcer again? Now, we can think about a continuous schedule of reinforcement, right? So a continuous schedule would be if you do something, then you get reinforced immediately for it, right? Um, think flipping on the light switch, right? You flip on the light switch, lights come on, all right? So that's continuous schedule of reinforcement. Every time you flip the light switch, lights come on or they go off depending on which ones you know how it's working. Um, or which direction you're going. Um, uh, soda machine, same sort of thing, all right? You put your money in, you get your, you get your soda out, all right? Uh, those actually don't maintain extremely high levels of responding. Uh, you, it seems like they do on the surface, but they're actually very weak schedules, and we'll talk about why they're weak here in a little bit, all right? Um, so the ones that maintain the highest rates are intermittent. In other words, if you flip, have to flip that light switch several times before the light comes on, that'll actually maintain more behavior. Think about how many times you have to actually flip the switch and that's the type of behavior that it's maintaining, right? Um, you know, casinos and things like that, they're all about these high rates of, and high rates of responding. How many times will you actually press that button, right? Um, at the, on the, on the slot machine. So if every time you press that, then you think of that as one response. If it reinforced you a little bit every time, well, then at the moment it stopped reinforcing you, you'd, you'd walk away, right? Um, but with an intermittent schedule of reinforcement, you never know when your payout's coming, right? So there's a lot of different types of these intermittent schedules, so let's go ahead and look at them. Right? <laughs> there you go, <laughs> cute little sound. Anyway, the ratio of schedules. Um, <clears throat> Ratio schedules are really straightforward. Um, we've got two different types of ratio schedules. Number one, you have a fixed ratio schedule. Fixed ratio is dependent on the number of responses being performed. Right? So fixed ratio said if you had a fixed ratio four, for example, you would have to make four responses before you received a reinforcer for those responses. And then you do four more and get a reinforcer and four more and get a reinforcer. Right? They have a variable ratio schedule, which is where if we had a VR four, a variable ratio four, you would have on average every four responses you'd get reinforced. Right? So that, that VR um, is going to maintain more behavior because you never know when it's actually when the reinforcers are coming. FRs, right? So an FR produces this very interesting stepped effect, right? In other words, you start this ratio run, right? The moment you start responding. Right? Um, then you you finish your your activity. Okay, that's called the ratio run. So if you have an FR four, you're basically going to be taking a break, doing nothing, doing nothing, and then you're going to start responding. Right, and you go did, 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 make your response four times, whatever that response is, and then you get reinforced for it, and then you're going to take a break. That break after reinforcement is called the post reinforcer pause. Uh, sometimes we call it a procrastination pause because whenever you start somebody on a schedule of uh, reinforcement, on a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement, they actually wait <laughs> before they start responding. So in other words, there's a bit of procrastination. Um, the the take-home rule to this is if you're working on a paper or something like that. Papers are types of uh, fixed ratios if you think about it in terms of, oh, you have to write a five-page paper. That's basically five pages of responding that you need to do in order to receive your reinforcer, which is the grade. Um, but what you see with fixed ratio schedules is that people, or with like writing a paper, people will put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off. But the moment you start it, guess what? You tend to finish it, or at least that major section that you're working on. So um, th that's one of the applications that we know about with fixed ratio stuff is that um, a fixed ratio, when, when the organism or when the person starts that ratio run, the moment they start responding, they tend to finish. So if you're trying to do something with regard to, and, and you're finding that you're procrastinating a lot, kind of one of the keys is just give yourself any opportunity to actually start it because you'll likely finish it. It's on a fixed ratio schedule. Um, variable ratio schedules, because you never know when the reinforcer's coming, you don't know how many behaviors you have to do, um, then that's going to be uh, a strong, steady rate of responding, as we say. Right? Um, the organism, the person will be responding quickly, and they will be responding continu uh, uh, continuously, and they'll be, making, they'll be taking very few breaks, if any. A great example of this is the casino. Just go look at people playing a slot machine. They just sit there and they press the button, they press the button, they press the button, they press the button, they, press the button, they, press the button, they don't take many breaks. Just kind of keep pressing the button. You know? uh, so that's the idea there is that you're on some type of variable ratio schedule. We also have interval schedules. Interval schedules are a rule that's uh, dependent on one behavior, right? But it's dependent on one behavior after a given amount of time. So you're going to get reinforced for that first response after a given amount of time has passed. And so, like a fixed, uh, a very uh, 
fixed interval schedule, a fixed interval 10, let's say, is that the first response after 10 minutes is going to receive reinforcement. Right? Uh, then again, it only takes one response, but you gotta wait that 10 minutes. So what you start to see with the fixed interval schedule is this, it's called a scallop, right? Uh, so behavior tends to speed up. You get more behavior the closer you get to that, inter er, that uh, reinforcement interval. Right? Um, so at about nine minutes, the organism starts responding really fast, whatever that is, whatever we're talking about there. So the kiddo um, will start looking up at the clock. In fact, you guys all do this. <laughs> you know, in class, you start looking up a clock at the clock right before class gets out. People start packing up their stuff, those types of things. They do all that right before uh, class gets out, not after class gets out, like they should be doing, all right? Anyway, the point is, is that uh, you, your behavior in a classroom is on a fixed interval schedule. One response at the end of that at the end of that interval will get you reinforced. Getting up or packing up at the end of the class is reinforced. It's not reinforced until the end of the course or the end of the day lecture. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I guess I was playing around with uh, some of the audio features on this. Anyway, limited hold, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, this ties in with interval schedules. So after a given interval, a response will produce a reinforcer, but it'll only exist for a certain window. Right? So this is like the buffet, you know, breakfast buffet or something like that. Uh, the McDonald's breakfast is a classic example of a limited hold. Uh, you can make a response, but you've only got a certain amount of time to make it. Right? Um, so it open with 6 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. or whatever it is. You know, So the idea is that there is a hold on that. Duration schedules performing a given behavior for a duration of time, for a period of time. Right? Uh, so you know, I think I gave you a, a bit of an example earlier about working, you know, studying this, my studying behavior and then that being reinforced by access to the truck, okay, access to working on the truck. So I was using the pre mat principle, but I was really doing a duration schedule. It was, uh, um, so I would have to study for one hour or two hour or three hours in order to um, earn my reinforcers. So that's the duration is that, that particular. It works really well, but you have to have a continuous behavior that you're working with. It can't be a discrete sort of thing. Okay. 